guys, Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today I'll show you the best class setup for the M4A1. There's two different classes that I like to use. And of course, these will change over time once weapon balancing and things come out. So I'll try to keep this up to date. But as of right now, a week into the game, these are two of the best class setups, in my opinion, that I have out of all the weapons. Uh, these two I have the most success with. So I'm going to go ahead and share them with you guys so you guys can try them out for yourself. Be sure to check out the new affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. All their information is linked down in the description below. The first class we're going to take a look at is my M4A1 Suppressed class. Now, of course, you know, we have the weapon, uh, and we'll get into that here in just a second. I also run a secondary. I usually run the Deagle. Uh, you could always run a launcher or any other pistol that you like. Perks, I run EOD, Ghost, and Tune-Up. I run a Lethal, and of course, I run Stem Shot. The reason I like to run stem shot, of course, is because, you know, you can heal in some of those quick gunfights if you try to stay alive and hop back up and get a kill really quickly. Some people don't like stem. If you want to run, um, you know, some other kind of flashbang stun, something there, that is perfectly fine as well. So we get into the weapon itself here. The first thing that I use is the monolithic suppressor. Now, this is the last suppressor that you unlock, so... You may want to go ahead and use the tactical or the lightweight before this point, but once you get this monolithic suppressor unlocked, you can tell the you can tell the difference in it and the other suppressors because it does have that sound suppression, but it also gives you damage range. The downside is aim down sight speed and aim walking steadiness. Keep in mind, you don't want a lot of things on your weapon that's going to reduce your aim down sight speed because if you do, if you're in that sprint, you know, and you run up on somebody, if you're in double sprint and you run up on somebody, you're not going to be able to ADS quick enough. So make sure that you try to balance your weapon out with things that help with ADS and things that, uh, you know, kind of take off the ADS speed. So make sure you're trying to balance that out. As you can see, this class's mobility is a little bit slow with this uh, suppressor on, and that is that reduction in aim down sight speed that is showing that reduction in mobility for. Of course, the next thing I want to use is the Corvus Custom Marksman. This is another thing now that will slow down your aim down sight speed just a bit, but it does give you that damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. So with this barrel and this silencer, you're getting a lot of damage range, even though that you're running a suppressed weapon. Now, if you wanted to go with something that was a little bit quicker and you did not want to have such a slow aim down sight speed, you could always go with the tack light or the commando. Those two will, uh, you know, increase your ADS and your movement speed, but I prefer the Corvus Custom Marksman. And when it comes to laser, optics, and stock, I run nothing here. I run iron sights. Stocks, I, I'm, stocks I'm okay with in this game, but at the same time, I'm not okay with them because a lot of these stocks also hurt your uh, ADS, you know, or aiming stability, aiming recoil control, that kind of thing. And right now in the game, so many people are just kind of hanging out, not really moving around really fast. I don't really feel like I need a stock to strafe and keep up. So until that changes, I'm just not running a stock. When it comes to the back grip, I always run the stippled grip tape on most all weapons if I do have it unlocked just because the aim down sight speed and the sprint to fire speed is increased. When it comes to ammo, I go with the 50 round mag. You could go with the 60, you will get a little little more reduction in your ADS, so I always try to just go with the 50, but that 50 round mag is very helpful. If you get into a, a group of enemies and you have that silencer on, they don't know you're there, you can really do some damage with that 50 round mag. And when it comes to grips, I always run the Commando 4 grip. Personally, this is my favorite grip in the game. There are some other good grips as well. The Merc foregrip is not bad, and also the Operator foregrip, but personally, the Commando is my favorite. Now, if we get into the other class that I use, and this is the class without a silencer, so this is going to be my M4 kind of loud class, and you're going to look at the Compensator on the front. The Compensator, to me, is some of the best recoil control in the game, and of course, always, to me, when you don't have a silencer on a weapon to recoil, you can start to kind of notice more. You notice more of that visual recoil, that muzzle flash, all that stuff that can kind of mess with your shot. The compensator helps out a lot. Of course, it's another attachment that does harm aim down sight and aim stability, so be aware of that. We're going to go with the M16 uh, Grenadier stock. Now, I've been swapping between this and the TAC light. I have messed some with the Commando. I'm not a huge fan of it because of the bullet velocity and the recoil control. So if I want to go with more of a aim down sight speed kind of build, I will swap over the tack light. But right now I'm going with the Grenadier and the Compensator. When running this class, you're not going to be able to 
just run and gun as quickly. Be sure that when you hit corners and you hit areas where you know people are going to be, make sure you already have those sights up. Because if you don't, you will have that slower ADS and you could it could be to your disadvantage. Now, when it comes to sights, I've been messing around with this one. This is the Canted Hybrid. Now, this is a 3.25 Scout with a single mounted reflex on the side. So you can hit the button and it will flip up to a reflex, which is very handy. The same kind of concept as... Um, What's the other one called? I, I will find it here in just a second. Uh, as the integral hybrid or the flip hybrid. You know, both of the, all of these have a long range zoom and also have a, the ability to flip up You know, a, a red dot to use as well. I just really like this sight for some reason. I don't know why. If you don't want to go with something this large, my personal favorite sight of all in game is probably going to be the Mini Reflex or the G the GI Mini Reflex. This is probably my personal favorite, but if you wanted something with a little bit of distance, if you have the Candid Hybrid unlocked, try it out. Also, you could also try the um, Integral Hybrid or the Flipped Hybrid. I just like this Candid because it's kind of neat to see it, you know. It's just a neat kind of visual thing in the game, in my opinion. It's kind of cool looking just to see it flip up back and forth. But you could try any sight you wanted. I, it's just my personal preference there. You also could go with Iron Sights just as well if you wanted to run maybe some ammo or a perk on this weapon when it comes to the back grip of course it's going to be the stippled grip tape and when it comes to the under barrel it is going to be the commando foregrip these are my personal two favorite classes in game right now the m4a1 is by far the best gun in game now there's a few others that are very close in my opinion but when it comes to just building a good weapon and you get good recoil control good stability and pretty decent ads it's hard to beat this gun in most situations. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. What are your favorite classes to run with the M4A1? Of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you have a chance, share the video. It'll help me out here on the channel a lot. Of course, click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.